And so the people, by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when they hold fast to the principles, when they hold fast to what is clear, when they hold fast to the nasa'ih and the tawjihat of the kibar al-ulama, the advices and the directions of these senior scholars who do not speak except with knowledge and who do not speak except with speech that is principled and who observe the importance of holding the people together upon the truth and preventing the people from that which will be of a detriment to their communities and themselves. Once the scholars have spoken, there is no more room. When the scholars have, have spoken based upon knowledge and insight, particularly those that are from the mutakhassisun, and from those that are from the specialists in the affair of ma'rifat al-rijal, al-mash'ud lahum bil-ilmi wal-fadl, those that the ulama themselves who were from their teachers, from the imams, bore witness in their favor that they are those of knowledge and virtue. And they are those who are the flag bearers and the ones who know best about these sorts of affairs. The ones who have been in the trenches for the course of decades, dealing with fitna after fitna after fitna, proving to be upon the same set of principles. And the same manner of dealing with affairs. Once the scholars have spoken, there is nothing left to say. And the people, they come and they say an ambiguous phrase. They say, لا يلزموني. I don't have to take a position. No one can force me to take a position against any particular person that the scholars have went against. And we say that it is agreed upon by Ahl al-Sunnati wal Jama'ah that the statement of no person that is غير معصوم of no person after the Prophet ﷺ no infallible person is binding to be accepted by any other person that is مسلم به that is something that everyone accepts and everyone agrees upon that no one can force you to take the statement of an individual no matter how high their level of knowledge is because they are them just because they are who they are but rather what is mulzamun bih, and what is binding upon the people, is adhering to the truth. Adhering to the truth. What is the truth behind the affair? And if a person cannot discern the truth, then they look, are they from the people who have the full details of that thing? Do they have a full grasp of the reality of what is going on of a particular affair? that may be of a detriment to their community, or not. And if the details that they have are ambiguous, then it is from that which will be less harmful for them if they were to make their mawqif one of a tawakkuf, if they were to take the position of Standing still and not doing anything. The scholars warn against a person, they see bawadir al-sharr. They see a person upon the principles of the people of innovation. Those that have been placed into the ranks of Ahl sunnah perpetrating a fraud. Trying to water down the line between a salafiyah and al hizbiyah those that a few years ago, perhaps a person, and not have the ability to see through them, but today everyone with two eyes that are open can see right through them. 